Hello, hello, we're back in Subnautica again. Yes, hey, look, sunset. The sun is going down. No, it's coming up. We've had a lot of changes lately. Captain, oh. a new message has arrived. Well, there's one of them. We have a communications relay in here. Playing message. Occurs at two minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, there's nothing, no story elements at the moment, but this is the new communications, which you can actually build in your base as well. See so if you click on the builder. There it is right there. To titanium. Receive short range outward communication. Which is a little strange. It says short range. It should be long range because who else is sending you short range communications here on this world other than the secret organization that is going to be keeping captive the sea emperor down in the lava zone but but as you can see we also have new icons for the farming tray the planter shelf the planter box and the planter pot but for some strange reason we have two more planter pots in here Let's see that one's round Let's see what the other one looks like okay and that one's a little bit different looking what about this one? Oh, okay hmm each one is very strict different in its appearance and oh we got the planter wall it's got its icon now which is great uh, I wish I could stop that sparking I keep hearing over here as you can see I did fix it but it's still sparking as usual and you still have smoke in here they've changed the random loot that shows up that used to show up in here in the life pod see now if you click on it you have water flares and nutrient blocks that's all you're gonna start with which is good that, but I I don't agree with that entirely there should be a few more uh, items that you should that will be fo would be found in there if you were in a situation like this escape pod I mean instead of having to build a welder it should be there uh, I mean basic survival stuff should be in there instead of having to use the fabricator to make it but oh well doesn't matter here's a bug watch see I stand here I can hear the water outside move over here it doesn't do it <laughs> let's go up top let's go back to day there we go and message has arrived. Let's see if it probably won't do anything. Playing message. Playing message. Huh. Radio test entry three. Oh, okay. Occurs at five minutes. Hmm. Well, let's go over to my base real quick. And I'll show you some other stuff that's going on. 285-15907. Look at the landscape load. Loads a lot qu Oh, it just... Oh, that was weird. From it there, it destroyed it, but at least it put it back. That was pretty cool. Welcome back to my base. This is... I just rebuilt it yesterday, because... Actually, in two days, I've rebuilt my base, because... Two days ago, everything was fine, but then they added some uh, updates to the floating island abandoned base, the new models, and it wasn't showing, so I had to rebuild my base again. <laughs> eh, it takes about 10 minutes. You know. Welcome aboard, Captain. And then there's one of my pictures as it pops in. There it goes. <laughs> and my other one. I got. There's my... I tried to go for Tron colors. You really can't get a good light cycle coloring on here. Some, I like to have an indigo, a really good bright bright indigo. Uh, but it's it's really hard, difficult to get Tron-like colors, you know, those bright hues in the game. It would be cool if you could, though. Let's see here. Now... Well, there's...
there's those. Well, since we're here, let's see what the let's see what that one looks like. Oh. That's pretty cool. Doesn't have any grass though. Like this one. What about that one? Hmm. Very nice. I've been doing some changes on the plants here. The leaves on them, so it looks much better. Yeah, nice, great detail on them there. Put that away. Now, over on the floating island, there are various plants you can grab and put in this tray, which I will show you when I go over there to the wreck. Uh, in the log here, let me go through and show what might have been missed last time. We got the welcome to read me, the habitats, the floodlight. It has an image, which is pretty cool. Modification and moon pool are still missing their images. They're coming eventually. Same with the sea moth in the suit. But the LED, yeah, the LED is missing its information. Well, it has a it sort of information. It could be a little bit more detailed in an image, but later. Uh, not sure exactly where the LED is appearing yet because I don't think it's it's only spawnable at the moment and You could put it right in your inventory and then place it uh, Which is there's an odd bug. I'll show you in a minute a sound bug with it The Aurora and those they don't have any images Same with all of the flora. Let's see. Yeah, all, they're all missing their stuff. Scavengers, bleeder, still missing. Cave crawler, floater, still missing. And herbivores, pretty much every one of these guys have their images, I believe. Let's see, except for the jelly ray, yeah. Uh, peeper, rabbit, Reginald, it's missing, yeah. So just the Reginald and the jelly ray is left for those. We've got the biter. The crash is now called a crash fish instead of just the crash. So if you want to spawn it, I'd like to be able to zoom in on that and see what that says. Got the mesmer, the sand shark, and the stalker. Corals, they're both missing their stuff. Uh, let's see, logs. Nothing new there. Let's go up. Now, as you see, I'm missing my kelp. There's a, there's a bug right now where I cannot carry over. See, if I take, if I create a creep vine seed cluster, they're taking up four slots, and that's wrong. It should be one slot. And if you try to carry them over by, I'm holding my shift key down and trying to, you know, left click it over. It won't do it. You can try to drag it, it won't do it. So there's a bug with that right now. So that'll have to be fixed. So let's go over to the goodies. There's a reason why I called this, I forgot to put a uh, hatch down three, three floors down. I'll do that later. There's a reason why I call this I see dead wrecks for this video. We have multiple wrecks in the game. The only problem is that the vast majority of them are all the same as the one in the blood grass over there. Wreck 1. They're just either upside down or turned on their side. The only different one is down here. Let me go to speed 2 so it's quickly get down there. I'll hide this from view. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's go back to day here. Brighten the zone up. Now there, there's a quicker... Wait a minute. Let me let everything pop into view here. The new wreck... Once everything starts playing around... Is, oops, I've run out of juice. Oh well. Let's see. I thought I had some batteries in my inventory. Guess I don't. Recharge. The new wreck. 
Yeah, if everything will stop jumping around. It's right there. It's actually pretty close to my base. Let's put this away. It's positioned between two of the islands. Technically, I would think that the weight of that would tilt the islands and cause it to fall down, but oh well. It still needs some tweaking. I got some cards I need to make on this. Because, oops, let's go back to speed one. It's going a little too fast there. There's some bugs with the doors in, the, in here. Which I'll show you in a minute. What's that? TB081. That shouldn't be blurry. It should be nice and clear. Have to f work on that. There's multiple entry points. Like here's a hatch. A cargo bay door. Now this is the same model that you it, you could you could see a while back and it's still available on Fox 3D, but it had water filtration units in it. That's not in this one anymore. But the like here's a here's a problem right here. And you can see there's no door frame. And all the doors are like that. Go down the stairs here. If I can swim. Come on, I'm clipping into it. There we go. Got a little room down here and pipes. That just goes back outside. Over here is a nice little air duct. I like the ducks though. They're the best part of this rack. They really look good. I love the twisty elements to it. And there's a little bug right here. Hey, that one's actually that one is good. But there's another one in a different duck that's backwards. <laughs> I think it's on the other side. I think this is might have been where the filtration was. I'm not sure. Oh, I've never been in here. I missed this room last time. I th What's over here? Oh, no, okay. Ah, I was just one room away. Yeah, here's another one. So you can... Each door is missing its, its uh, door frame. And you got paper-thin textures. So it doesn't look good. And you can see right through the model. Every door is like that. You know, there's a girder texture sticking through. A lot of little tweaking needs to be done on the door, on the model here and there. Where's that coming from? Oh, up there. Huh. Okay. Got a fan. Here's the stairs that we've been waiting to see in the game forever. And I hope that they'll make them available for us to use in our bases. Because I'd love to have stair modules. So you have... I literally have a module like this that's angled down, so you can create a long tube going down a slope or into the ground or whatever. That'd be very cool. And see here we got a misaligned doorway here, and this texture's not looking good there. It's lots to see in this this wreck. There, I can see right through it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's the other one. Is that one backwards? What was that backwards one? Toby. I think it was. Where? Is that it down there? Yep, there it is. There's the backwards one. <laughs> I knew it was around here somewhere. What's that? Fan 9. So there's a fan behind that. I have a fan behind that wall. <laughs> oh, see, got another stairs here. Stairway going down. Oh, got fish clipping through. Of course, they don't have any substance, so it's easy for them to do. Here's your little entry port to the various ducts. Oop, can't go through there. So. That's basically it for this one. Is there an exit over here? Nope, sure isn't. Uh, yeah, let's go back up. Am I making you dizzy with all my fast movement? <laughs> it's nighttime. 
Yes, the world gets exceedingly dark. Stop that. Stop that. Dang, dang, shoot. Uh-oh. Yikes. I thought I put my... I thought I put my invisibility on. Hey, there's a radio in here. Let's make it so the predators don't see me. Is that it? Huh. I did not notice this the other night. I think they just added it. Interesting. Matter of fact... I definitely did not see that the other night. Okay, let's head over to... Uh, if you put Biome Islands... It'll drop you right on the beach of the floating island once it spawns in. Du -du 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 -du. There we go. We now have cave crawlers on the beach and all over, pretty much all over the island from what I've read on the check-ins. Uh, that's pretty. It's pretty nice at night. I'm not gonna leave it at night though because it's a little too dark to see the abandoned base. So let's go back to day. There we go. There's a bug. <laughs> I reported out a little while ago. There's something with the shadow. That's the shadow on the water. It's not showing out there. Once you get past the abandoned base, then suddenly it pops in. Here, watch. Once I get over here. And it should be right about... There you go, see? Suddenly it's all over the water the way it's supposed to be. Except for right there. Huh. But these orange mushrooms... I don't think you can scan them yet. No. But you can... Take samples. There we go. And there's one. The problem is they take up a lot of room. Let's get rid of that. And the purple vases, you can take them. I'll take one of those. And if you remember last video, these were the lead trees. Now they're just the hanging fruit, the way they're supposed to be. So you can take two of those and you can plant them. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy crab. And here is the new texturing, or actually the new models, for the abandoned base. Looks very cool. And this is new. I didn't have this over here before. What we got? Oh, what do we have? You can't see it! I still can't. Oh, wow, that really bounces you. Like, darn you. Wow. These rocks are annoying. Let's see. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow, he boun he bounces me. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Nothing. That this will change soon. It will eventually have something. You'll have these plants uh, to take back to your base or wherever you want to plant them at. But over here is the door, which is not looking good at the moment. For some reason, it's using a new texture. Hmm. Of course, this might be... They, they are still working on this, so... We'll see. And it, when you open it up, you float in the air, and then drop back down. <laughs> well, here's the new interior with... Uh, what was it? Z, Z fighting rust textures. <laughs> Gotta work on that. Oh, got a girder clipping through the wall here. But I should have punched a hole in the ceiling when it did that. Can I climb up? Nope. The only way to get to the top is to climb on top of the base. By going up the landslide here. Here's. This is weird. You can actually access this planter's uh, inventory. <laughs> sort, sort of weird. But you got to go up here. Climb in the rock. And then you can drop down on top of the base to get up here. Hey, look at here. They hit a little supply crate with nothing. I was chipped again. <laughs> I got to report these Z fighting textures here. They don't look good. That's the only thing that's doing is, is the rusting on the floor. 
Well, I'll take it back. There's one on the wall there. <laughs> Next will be the abandoned base in a jelly shroom. That'll be what is worked on shortly. Pink mushrooms, pink mushrooms. Ooh, I'm full. Boy, those purple vases. These things take up too much room. They need to be one slot, not two. Uh, so, before I head to the racks, let's head back to my Welcome base. Aboard, Captain. Go upstairs here. And plant my shirt, my stuff. Oh, actually, I need to click on the planner first. That would help. One, two, one, two. There you go. As you can see, there's one little guy there. There's one there. And there. And I'm not seeing the other one. Orange. Oh, okay. He's the purple vase. He's hidden underneath that green patch there. It's hard to see him. But if you put this to speed 10, actually, I'll show you. Speed. Let's go to speed 5. You can actually watch him grow. Let's take it back. Let's go to speed 10. Uh, speed 10 is actually slowing me down for some reason. Not, normally I can put speed 10 on. It doesn't slow down the environment. But at least you can see that they are growing. He's growing pretty... Oops. Shh. Oh, that's right. He's growing pretty fast. And I'll put my pink, pink mushroom in there. There's my lone pink mushroom. <laughs> He's so lonely. Now, let's go check out. Oh, I'll go all the way up. Going up. Oh, I can't wait till that's fixed. Oh, that was weird. Sound cut out there for a moment. I can see light through the crack there. Yeah, there's my shadow. That's the only time you see your head, your character's head is in the shadow. He doesn't have one normally. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's go back to day real quick. So you can see everything when I go to it. Now, over in the Kush zone, I can warp over there. It's a lot easier if I just warp it. Let's warp it. Warp it good. 179608. There's your coordinates. Now, now I'll put you right above the wreck until they get the go to commands in. Once those are in, then you don't really need coordinates. As you can see, it's the same. It's the same wreck as in the blood kelp. It's just turned on its side. Absolutely no difference whatsoever. Would it help to? There we go. Oh, I didn't know I was in this. The air duct. Oh. What the heck's going on here? Oh, Richter, I thought it was missing textures, but it was just bent metal. Put this away. Now. Ooh. Yeah. That's strange. Where does it start? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, right there. They really need to work on the sound zones because they cut out too quick. Like right there, the wreck, it starts. Should start right about here. How close do I have to be? Right in the door? Huh, it's not. Well, you got to be pretty close. And then it cuts out when you swim away. The, uh... They have added... Actually, let's go over to the... Go to Wreck 8. 
We'll put you right above the blood kelp wreck, which they've been working on. Using the same music. Waiting for everything to pop in. There we go. Ooh, yeah, yeah, they have been working on this. The new lighting on it's a little bit shiny. There's the. Uh, there's supposed to be shocker eggs over here now. We had the blood kelp, the the shocker, the gasopod, and the reef bag eggs. Although I have never seen any of them hatch. I've done the three day thing. And what's this? Hey, this is new. All right. I can't scan them yet though. These are supposed to be scannable, eventually. Hey, they have doing, been doing some decoration in here. No signal. Interesting. Good thing I came over here to look. I don't know we're seeing that, but it might have been here. Let's get this out of my... Put that away. Uh, can't go that way. Thing in oh, what's this? Well, that's hey, they finally added the broken screen. Cool, I just wonder what it says right here. I'll have to zoom in on that later. Huh. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, this is the NS2 room, okay, because there's the door right there. Missing, it's still missing its frame, just like the other racks, it doesn't. Because the door's missing, it's allowing you to see right through the wreck itself. But normally the NS2 poster would be right there. So let's go downstairs. Or down the elevator shaft in this case. See what's down here. That's too bright. That one's too bright. Whoa, cool. They threw the boxes around. Nice. Yeah, I got some illumination problems in here. These are too bright. So. But you can go out the bottom here. It's very cool. I wonder where the shocker eggs are. Let's see if I can spawn one. Spawn shocker egg. Oh, there we go. I figured that was going to be the shocker egg. It just looked like it. Cool. He's moving too. And clipping through the ground. <laughs> cool. How, how much space does he take up? Four slots, I figured. But if you want to see the reef back, spawn reef back egg. There it is right there. And the gasopod. Spawn. Gasopod egg. There he goes. Now they're supposed to be found over in the safe shallows where the gasopods are now. And check ins were saying that they were added in, so I'll have to look around for them, see if they're available yet. Now the next. Now there is. Let's go over to. don't know if I can find it though. Let's see. I also need to go to day. Oop. Yeah, day cheat doesn't really help much. Well, it could be. Let's see. There it goes. Okay. Now, this is the. I'm actually on the treader path here. The sea treader path is pretty much fully laid out. They'll come to a point in the uh, Grand Reef where they stop. This is basically it right here. Uh, but where is the wreck? There's supposed to be a wreck in the Grand Reef. Wait a minute. Let's pull this baby out. Do some exploration here. This video is going to be a little long. Here, I'm going to... Well, I'll... I'll still move around. I was going to pause. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like with this zone. It has a lot of pop in. They're still working on that. Yeah, see? Too much 
too much lag with the pop in. And I got a good computer, so I shouldn't I shouldn't do this. I might have to wait in here, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to scan around and look for it. When I get to it, I'll cut back in. Can you find the hidden Mickey? <laughs> I was just swimming along, trying to find the wreck, and I noticed <laughs> these three balls formed a Mickey Mouse head. <laughs> That's a little humorous. I wonder if they purposely did that. I mean, it just seems... Like it was made that way. <laughs> Alright. I'll cut back in when I find the wreck. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find it. If you know the coordinates where it is, I let me know. Because I scanned everywhere. I couldn't find it. Maybe it might not be put in yet, for all I know. But over here in the southwest, coming from the Deep Grand Reef over there, and heading toward a sparse reef in the west is the treader path as you can see here and it's already fully laid out with lots of great plants and there are caves along the way but what it does is eventually it leads to this large cave here which is very cool let me get rid of this thing so it just fortunately you have that thing that bug right there there, as you can see, the top of the cave is here. So the sea treaders are big, but they're not massive. Because so, they're going to be walking through this zone here. And these little caves off to the side, you'll find lots of little alcoves and fun little hidden locations. Um, like that. I believe that one goes up. There's an archway coming up, which I'll show you here. There it is. It's got little plants on the top, and it actually goes to a cave system right there, which you can follow around. I'll let you find it and enjoy it. Ooh, that's strange. We've got a biome bleed. Yeah, the, the way the light trickled in there, that was a little odd. And now we are coming into the sparse reef location. And this actually drops down to the blood kelp. If I remember right. Yep, there it is. Let's get rid of that. There. Not sure where the shocker eggs will appear. They're probably way deep in the blood kelp. You gotta be where the shockers are, of course. Oh, I hear a reaper. That just suddenly went deaf. <laughs> or mute, in this case. Sorry. Wrong term. What's that? Oh, a crystal. Mixed with a plant. Yeah, this is the uh, dunes biome here. Sparse reef. Actually, it passed by it. It's over that ridge right there. I had my zones wrong. But I did pass by this sparse reef. And it was on the other side of the mountain there. So let's head, to, head through the gap here. The blood kelp gap. The BK zone. Burger King zone! <laughs> Hamburger trees. Mmm, hamburger. Ooh. Hello. Didn't know about that. Well, it's a good thing I was coming along here. Top of the kelp is clipping into the cliff face. It. Oh. I'm at the wreck. Interesting. So, did not expect to suddenly appear at the wreck here. So it's actually quite close to the treasure path. Yeah, there's the other ridge. Let's see. 
Let me see if I'm correct in my uh, coordinates here. Should be right over the ridge. Oh! I'm close to the, the light plant canyon. These are new zones here. What's over the ridge? What could it be? It's the Deep Grand Reef. No. It's the other entrance to the PK zone. Yeah, right there. So, oh, no, this is the Treader Path. <laughs> I'm at the entrance to the Treader Path. I knew I was close. So... I was a little off on my sparse reef coordinates. So directly over here. Should be. Did I s Wait a minute. I gotta check something. Nope. I've already scanned that. Hey! Oh, hello! There's the other one. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have two of the U-shaped wrecks. Uh, sort of U-shaped. This one's turned vertical. So this is the sparse reef wreck that they, I, somebody was telling me about. Interesting. See, it looks like a big U. See, this is pretty cool, but... There is an issue with the wrecks, being that there's two of these. We have... One... Two, three, four, four other wrecks. One in the western mushroom forest. One, the one in the bloodgrass. The one in the Kush zone. And the one in the bloodgrass. Well, I said bloodgrass. So I mean, but either way, the, all of those are the same model. Just turn this way or that way. So it's a little improbable that every wreck would be the same. They would have, they, need, they need more unique configurations. So I'm hoping that they're placeholders for now until they get some new wrecks made and by Fox 3D so they can replace them with something different. There's no way they would be the same the same wreck in multiple locations. And of course they are saying. Some people are saying, where do these wrecks come from? Because they sure didn't come from the Aurora when it blew up, which is very true. There's, If you watch the Aurora, these things could never have been thrown from it to the distances as they are. So they came up with the idea that they fell off during the Aurora's descent when it crashed. But at the same time, that doesn't make any logical sense because if you look at the Aurora before it blows up, it's pretty much intact. The only thing that was damaged on it in, in the loading screen was a big hole in the side. So there's nothing, none of these would have fell off. Oh well. Nighttime approaches. Yes, it does. And it's now day. <laughs> I love being able to have that cheat work without causing issues now. Yay, it's vertical. Now, if you want to see the one in the mushroom forest. I'll take you over there real quick and I'll show you to you. Let me get my coordinates. It's the western mushroom forest. So that's 10, 10, 4, 2, 9, 3, minus 9, 3, and 4, 7, 1. Let everything load in and I'll look down. Oops, I put in one coordinates wrong there. <laughs> Why did you look at that? 10, 4, 2, 9, 3, 4, 7, 1. Let's try that one. There we go. I put a minus in front of the 10, 4, 2. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to do the Aurora. Man, I really got my coordinates wrong. Jeez, I'm literally under the Aurora. Wow. Well, that's weird, because I took those coordinates properly when I was over there. So, hold on. Let me get over there.
There I am. Finally got over here. I had my coordinates a little wrong. It's 1048. It's minus 1048, minus 91, and then 467. I was one of my numbers was wrong. So, but this is the the same wreck as in the other locations. But it's perched on top of one of the mushroom trees, as you can see here. I don't think there's any changes to it, so but we can check and find out. We're in here. We have the door right here. Take a gander inside. Yeah, nothing's changed in here yet. They haven't worked on it. I've been working on the the blood kelp wreck in the floating island, but the others have not had their attention. Ooh, look at that. It's clipped right through the, the cap there. That's interesting. Let's take a picture of that. Just to show. Actually, those should have been all broken. I don't know why they are not. That doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Should not be clipping through the tree there. Yeah, that one. The tree itself is actually embedded into it. Look at that. <laughs> That's very strange. Hmm. Must make notes. I cannot wait until they get the short range LOD loading issued fixed because I am so tired of seeing. Look at that. You look that way, no details whatsoever. Look right here, all details. But if you move forward just a few inches, everything will pop in. Look at that over there, it's so sparse. Right about there, starting to pop in. There. <laughs> Boom! So just suddenly. Let me back up a little bit. See where the, the line is. Should be about right. Come on. Come on! Disappear. There it goes. Now it's a barren forest. Looks like a, a wasteland. And you move forward and everything's there. But over here, it's barren again. Mostly. <laughs> There's the big tree, which you can actually jump to. If you put in biomes in the console, it shows you all the biomes there. And that one's just tree, biome tree. See if you do biome tree. Put you right at the base of it. <laughs> Still got to wait for everything to load in, though. Yeah. They make the weirdest sounds. Can you scan these? I don't think they have anything yet. Yeah, bone sharks are still not scannable, which is a shame. Everything else is, and you would think they would be too by now. They're taking a little long. But that's, uh, other than the wrecks, I mean, we also have, let me go back to the base here real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. And, now they were saying that some of the animations were fixed in various things in here, so. But I don't, I'm not sure exactly what was fixed. Because it just says that, you know, the visual effects of creating stuff in the fabricator was adjusted to make it look better. Which, is, that's always good. Um, but over here in the loot, we now, the lead is now, where is it at? It's now a lead plate. But there's still an issue, though. If I were to create this, it would show as balls and not le a lead plate itself. So they still got to work on that. And then we have fiber mesh, which is going to be... I'm thinking that the silicone is going to be com what, taken out of the game eventually. And that fiber mesh is going to take over because there's certain recipes now that call for fiber mesh instead of silicone. Not sure what, though. Let me see. Let's go look at equipment. 
No, no, no. Silicone, creep vine samples. Uh, how about suits? Here it is. Fiber mesh 2 in the radiation suit. Synthetic fibers for the dive, the reinforced dive suit. And you need fiber mesh for that one. So, fiber mesh for the rebreather as well. But the fins still call for silicone rubber, which in a way makes sense. But at the same time, you could use the fiber mesh on the, on the fins to make them stronger. Uh, magnetite. Anything in here? I still haven't played around with the craft sphere in a long time. Right. It still needs its model when it's made, too. Oh, my inventory's full. Uh, let's put those in. Ooh. Oh, I see. I see what you did. Um, let's go today. You have to do it twice. Now if you put the grass sphere... It's drawing in the fish. And moving away. Where is it going? That's pretty cool. Does it take a battery though? What if I... Let me see, go, let's go up into the moon pool here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can't drop it in here. Yeah, they took it away. Oh, it's a shame, man. Can't drop it in there. But uh, you should be able to have some real serious fun with the grass sphere. You know, in my older videos you saw. Um, what happens if you go in here, though? Get away from the ladder. Oh, you can't drop it in your large aquarium. That sucks. <laughs> now you should be able to drop it in there. It's 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 a liquid environment. What a bummer. What about? Hey, you can drop it up. You can drop it on top of your base, though. Can I kick it? Oh, I can't kick it like a beach ball. Kick it like a ball. I want to kick your balls. <laughs> Mmm, big balls. Groovy. Hey, it works on the beach. <laughs> what about with birds? Nope. Let's see. Where's a bird land? Ah, there you go. Doesn't affect birds. Interesting. It will not attract the bird. Oh well, that was a good test. So. Oh, you're back, huh? I don't think so. Get out of here. I always get rid of the blighters around here before I build my base. They're so annoying. That's the one thing you have to do. Because there's a good many of them in this lo this location right here when you're building the base. So, but I, I launch them down there. I launch them to the other side. You know, Just get them, get them away. They don't come back. That's a good thing. Except for that one there. It must have been a random spawner. Whoa, they just went into the sky. Did you see that? What the... Where'd they go? Oh, they were now they're down here again. That's weird. Sometimes you'll see them actually launch themselves and then they disappear and reappear somewhere else. They're like peepers. Peepers jump out of the water. That's it for now. Uh, that's it. everything's covered. Oh, but oh yeah, swim chart fins work with the sea glide now. I forgot to tell you about that. And small fish do not hurt your sea moth. When you're actually, I'll show you that real quick. Uh, you get a splash when you come out of the water. I don't know why that disappeared. Welcome aboard, Captain. If you hit these guys, they don't hurt you. Hit him. 
Yeah, let's find another fish. I think you're more likely to kill a fish than you are. There's a biter. Let's take him out. There. Oh, wait. Hey, it did say health. Well, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, I might have... Did I have health on here? Oh, wait a minute. Let me test. Okay, we're at 100. Uh, there he goes. There, 100. There. There, see? Stay in... Normally, if these small fish would hurt you whenever you hit them. Full force. Oh, I missed him. Let's see, where'd he go? Well, let's go through fish school. Nothing. Ooh, Reginald. Where'd he go? Reginald disappeared on me. Oh, there he is. Ow, I hurt him, but he didn't hurt me. <laughs> so, as you can see, you can your health will not drop now. At least it won't drop dramatically. But it's not supposed to drop at all with fish hitting you. It has to be a big predator or a rock or something else. So that's it. I will see you in the next video when we have more to show. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.